The Wyoming Game and Fish Department's Wildlife Health Laboratory tested 6,884 samples from big game animals harvested in Wyoming for chronic wasting disease in 2021. Testing was completed in early January. Samples were submitted from throughout the state. Of the 6,884 samples, 831 samples tested positive. The numbers are based on submissions from hunters, road-killed animals, and animals found dead or in poor condition. Chronic wasting disease is a chronic, fatal disease of the central nervous system in mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, and moose. It belongs to the group of rare diseases called transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. These disorders are caused by abnormally folded proteins called prions. Early on in the disease, animals don't show any clinical signs. Later on, affected animals show progressive weight loss, reluctance to move, excessive salivation, droopy ears, increased drinking and urinating, lethargy, and eventually death. The number of tested samples and positive tests increased for the third consecutive year. In 2020, 6,496 samples were tested with 829 positives, compared to 5,067 samples tested and 568 positives in 2019. It's important to note that comparing the number of positive tests each year can be misleading because the Game and Fish's CWD surveillance program focuses on different deer and elk herd units each year, and the number of positive cases is proportional to the prevalence of CWD in the particular herd unit surveyed that year. That said, the prevalence of chronic wasting disease is slowly increasing in most deer and elk herd units in the state. CWD was detected in four new deer hunt areas and five new elk hunt areas in 2021. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.